Reaccess is a great resource for compound properties, reactions, and literature. Its strength, though, is in its indexing of substance properties and reactions. Think of it as a more extensive CRC handbook or a more extensive version of the physical and chemical data section of Perry's Chemical Engineer's Handbook. Reaccess just has that many more compounds and many more properties. Some of the properties in Reaccess include thermodynamics properties, physical properties, and spectra. All of these properties are taken from research literature and are useful for comparing with your experimental values. And because Reaccess records values from individual experiments, there will be multiple values with different experimental conditions, unlike handbooks, which often report only one value at standard conditions. There are also links that connect um, to U of C subscriptions from within the database. Reaccess has good introductory videos on searching. A link to their support page with this video that you see on the screen will be below. About halfway through this video, there are links um, to other videos on Reaccess's different search functions. Click on any of those buttons within the video to see other videos on lit searching, substance, reaction, and property searching. The lit searching video covers um, essentially Reaccess's text search. Um, so view this video if you're looking for literature on a topic. Um, for Chem 371, I suggest you start with this one. The substance searching video shows you how to find information about a substance using a text, formula, or structure search. This is one of Reaccess's strengths um, as a database, again, includes a lot of information on substances and organizes its information by substance. Searching this way is useful if you want to verify property values for known or even unknown substances. The reaction searching video shows you how to find reactions using a text search by named reaction or by drawing a reaction. So this type of searching may not be as relevant for certain courses such as PhysChem. And lastly, the property searching video shows how to look for specific properties in conjunction with a text or structure search for a substance. To access Reaccess, go to the library website and go to the databases listing. Then use the drop-down menu to choose chemistry, and Reaccess will be one of the best bets. Lastly, um, since Reaccess's strength is in the indexing of chemical literature based on substances and reactions rather than on the text, if you're looking for literature on a topic, also try SciFinder, which is the main database for chemistry. If your topic is interdisciplinary, consider Scopus or Web of Science as well, as um, they are both interdisciplinary databases. If you have questions about any of this, um, feel free to contact someone at the library through chat or email. If you're viewing this video uh, from within a library research guide, contact information can also be found on the left hand side. If you're viewing this video on YouTube, um, UCalgary contact information will be in the notes.